Now, U.S. President Joe Biden has won his first official race of this year, the Democratic primary in South Carolina. With this win, he is set on the path to re-nomination. The attention now is on turnout and his margin of victory, both of which may indicate his strength in the November general elections. There were 55 delegates at stake in the South Carolina primary and Biden has won all of them. With an overwhelming victory, Biden has claimed his first delegates in his quest to win his party's nomination again. With this win, Biden has said that he will make Trump a quote-unquote loser again. And I think you all get it along with me. We can't, this is not just a campaign. This is more of a mission. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot lose this campaign for the good of the country. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's not about me. It goes well beyond me. It goes about the country. And I think everybody knows it. And I think people are beginning to dawn on people. The president has handed an easy defeat to his two little-known challengers, Minnesota Representative Dean Phillips and author Maureen Williamson. Williamson also unsuccessfully ran as a presidential candidate in the year 2020. Biden's victory could also validate the Democrats' new election lineup. The Democratic nominating calendar was shuffled to have South Carolina go first. Remember, it was the state that propelled Biden's 2020 win. When he entered the state four years ago, his presidential bid was limping, but it was revived largely due to his popularity among black voters, who helped him win nearly 50% of the vote. This year, he's relying on the same voter group again to cement his re-election prospects. Come November, they will be crucial for the president. And that is what explains the Biden campaign's push in South Carolina, even though the state is largely dominated by Republicans in general elections. In fact, the last Democratic presidential nominee to win the state was Jimmy Carter back in 1976. Republicans in South Carolina will vote later this month on February 24th. The GOP primary could be Nikki Haley's last chance to slow Donald Trump's march to a third consecutive presidential nomination.